This morning, they are holding a press conference. The Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia and members of the Cabinet COVID-19 Subcommittee will this morning give update on the state of government's food aid distribution. Government announced the procurement of relief packages in rice, oil and sugar to 84% of needy communities around the country. Government spokesperson announced earlier that the distribution was scheduled to complete on the 8th of May, but the process was notably uh, ongoing unit uh, until this week. Ahead of the conference by 10.30 today, my colleague Ibrahim Presba is on the line from Makati Square in Banjul. Good morning, Ibrahim, and welcome to the program. Yeah, good morning, Jude. So, like you said, it is in the Makati Square in Banjul, where we are waiting for the press conference by the uh, Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia to start uh, for updates on the food relief distribution across the country. Uh, very well. We know that the press conference will, will start in just uh, a moment. So, what are the expectations today from the presidency? So, since the week of um, 7th May or 5th May, still we do not hear from the office of the pre president on about the distribution process. Actually, this is directly under the office of the vice president. And the government spokesperson said to the media in a media dispatch earlier on that the distribution process of about um, 700 um, million worth of uh, food aid materials, you know, procured for different communities across the country was to complete, the distribution process was to be completed on the 7th, the 8th of uh, May. But this didn't go by the earlier pronouncement, which means that the uh, Office of the Vice President, which is the head of the COVID-19 response at the cabinet level, will have to now explain what were the delay about uh, you know on the distribution process but also we know the uh, other cabinet uh, members who are part of the response team for COVID-19 will be here to give you know more update about you know the distribution process and what uh, issues surrounding it today. Uh, very well we we know that uh, the distribution is still ongoing but what is the issue with the distribution process there? Any clue? So official reports coming from the office of the vice president um, in collaboration with the National Disaster Management Agency uh, would uh, always say that, you know, they are on track in the distribution process and 84% of the needy people around coronavirus, you know, the impact of coronavirus are the target and work is getting done. But now that the, we have noticed that there are several communities, reports coming from several communities that they are yet to receive, although um, the survey, according to the NDMA, which is the Disaster Management Agency, said, you know, all needy persons across the country will be reached out for this food, food package. But where that is not visibly uh, done across the country a few elements of the society you know i mean got theirs and others are still waiting so two about one week ago the same office of the disaster management issued a press release to say that you know whoever has grievances about the distribution or is yet to receive or has question or queries about it will need there was a hotline a toll-free number was given and these messages were circulated to cross communities meaning that there are issues so what the issues are unconfirmed reports will tell you there are also you know i mean bias in the selection process the people entrusted with the distribution are not doing as expected but the officials from the office of the vice president and the disaster management for them, things are okay. But we also know that mm. there are also reports of theft around the rice and the sugar oil, you know, that is designated for these poor communities. And then, you know, members of the GAF, you know, we are involved, about three of them were subjected to investigation and the office of the army PRO, you know, has been talking about that, you know, giving updates. So meaning that things are all not right. So. 
for today's press conference before the, I mean, media, the vice president, together with the response team at the cabinet level, will need to clarify a lot of issues. Maybe they are just normal issues, but whatever the case is, the messages are going that, you know, food distribution is not being seen as expected in many aspects. So we hope that the press conference will clear some of these concerns. Yeah, very well. Even uh, in Banjul, where the distribution of the food aid started, um, reports imagine uh, yesterday the spokesperson of the uh, Banjul City Council is saying that 50% of the households in Banjul are not uh, served with the president's food relief package. And now that the state of public emergency is extended, do you think that this will really, um, the food distribution will serve uh, the emergency duration? That is a critical aspect of the debate right now because we know um, the you know national disaster management agency, which is working directly under the vice office of the vice president, will say that they have done their assessment. They have officials in various localities to do the assessment to ascertain as to who needs it. But the minister of finance told the media in one of the press conferences by the Ministry of Health, you know that. You know, the, the nature of neediness by the people, you know, changes. There were needy people before COVID-19, and those who were not needy at that time are indeed needy because of the COVID-19. After the COVID-19 pandemic is rocking seriously, more and more people are needy. So what assessment, what data are they using uh, now? Is it that of the GBOS, the housing and I mean, the housing and census data that was available by the Gambia Bureau of Statistics? Is it uh, these latest updates or latest research that is being conducted by field workers within the short period of time that we see. So these are the issues that, you know, the, the, the communities and the public are asking of now. But we also know, like you mentioned, the issue of emergency period has been extended. We must also remember that the initial response by the government in this food aid was meant for to address the issues of the, the, the neediness, I mean, the, the, the problems of the first state of emergency that was ratified by the National Assembly in April, about the third of April. So now that it is extended means uh, there was expectation that the Minister of Finance will uh, bring before the National Assembly su supplementary bill, supplementary budget bill to, to, to extend the, 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 I mean, the generosity from the government or the relief package from the government. But now that the National Assembly could not do any further extension of state of emergency. The president had to do it by his own. He, um, he did it, he used invoked constitutional powers to extend it by 21 days. So within these 21 days, who is counted? Are there going to be new packages from the government? This is also another aspect of the coin. But what is very significant about the rice distribution, about the food aid distribution right now, we know food is a very valuable commodity, very sensitive, and it is subjected, supposed to be subjected to health checks. But we saw for weeks that this food was parked just behind me here on the you could see the heap of food you know packages parked here rice bags exposed directly to the hazardous condition of the environmental you know you know weather so this was a concern and it could not complete according to the time that was given by the government so what does this mean for health workers even though we are uh, the the idea is to curb COVID-19 to contain its spread but the there should be also care about the food distribution. And then we know communities in different parts of the Gambia saying that they have the food in their villages, village bantabas, not, you know, in a room temperature. So these are all concerns that I think, you know, is uh, associated with the distribution process. So the delay is only for the office of the uh, vice president that is heading the COVID-19 um, response team for the government. In revelations there, uh, press bar. But finally, before we take a leave of you, the press conference is scheduled for 10.30. What is the preparation on the Makati Squire currently? It is not locked. be shared so now that the place is virtually empty of rice oil and sugar 
you know, so the places remains open, but as to the exact location, we know it is uh, announced to be hold, held here by the government spokesperson, but uh, none of them for the meantime are noticeably, noticeably present here. But, uh, you know, I think the media is coming and then to do their setup so that we also know state house is not far from here. So it's a matter of stone through to for the vice president to get here. So any time from now, this is a, an extraordinary um, time which they may also um, consider an extraordinary situation. The president, vice president could just come and then speak to the media and we will be ready to hold our mic before her to send the message. So the setup is not there for now, but is yet to be 10 o'clock. Well, we hope that the, they will be prepared before 10.30 for the press conference so that the general public or the public will be informed as to the distribution of the food aid uh, distribution. But before then, thank you so much for those updates, Ibrahim Presba. You're welcome, Jilde. Thank you. And say stay safe there in, in Banjul. That is our very own Ibrahim Presba, senior editor and correspondent of iAfrica TV, giving us those exclusive updates uh, right from Banjul, where the food aid distribution is taking place. There are a lot of irregularities happening within the... Um, a bit uh, about the food aid distribution for Funonu, uh, Makati Square, Lankone Kadidev. So, press conference, uh, it's geared towards giving uh, updating the media on the how far the government has gone on the distribution of the food aid uh, program. While again, that then extend the state of public emergency. We have many issues with Barry Yunge and because they must then you read free report, uh, BAC guys and spokesperson, be Munge Wahne. 50% of the household in Banjul among this food aid uh, package for Funonu. Why loan money? Kalo hamne de fadde why? Because ban yul money ka the capital. It is the starting point. So nyu nyu sun amun fifty percent of the households there amun. So I wonder what will happen to other communities in the Gambia. Why did that? Hamna ne dal guy media be move for the nyu ko ote nyu nyu they are yet to be there. But hopefully they will come before time so that you update media as what is happening on the ground and about the food aid distributions. Because you get so many issues regarding this food aid distribution and so many lapses on the side of the government, which is very obvious. Why I'm not going to say that you as to the food aid distribution and some of the issues that they are really encountering. Mm-hmm. Um, Julie, um, I have a food aid be the da fa yaga te ni yaga na ndi siwa yaga na torop 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 because mu ngi nekal nga xamne am den ko promise ni ti te day ñe 85% of it so 85% of it banjul am wara am 84 84% wa 84% yeah so 84% banjul wara am 50% bac ñu ne ñu wara am 50% danaka community bu nek rek hejna so ñu he council bu nek su wara am 50% dafa melni kon 50% of the nation like I provide so another 34% less. No, 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 no problem. So um, the thing is, Gambia. Then, bari nyunga hamne. Then poverty more than their sonal. The fact bari torap 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 torap. So look at what I def moi. Um, distribution be. Nengko distribute accordingly. Um, it's better kom nini neka di complain fi about this food. Nyonga good ni 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 dem na fili nyonga fili. So then nini loko nini nini all of njai de waregla dige borla. Then it is so called digedara. Where ngoko muna def. Where ngasi? Where ngoko muna motali? Why ngadi dige lunga hamne mulo ko motali? Bafare ngai ekiti cho. Lulu defan ne kalunga hamne jaru ko. I'm not solo. For food dal, food aid distribution beda. I'm not. I'm not problems. You bari. There is not so many questions, but hopefully those questions will be answered today, and the people will be able to know what is what and who is who and who is doing what there.